Okay, right, let's go and have a look what's happening in the tank after we've turned it off. Okay, so you know you've got your semblance of white water there. There's obviously a lot of gas dissolved in that water that's coming out of that solution, so potentially this run at the right pressure, you could make an air flotation system out of it without a saturation vessel. Um, which is quite interesting and also get the benefits of the nanobubbles wherever they are in amongst all of those uh, micro bubbles that come into the surface. So yeah, I'll just turn it on again now. And then we'll we'll turn the air on once it's up to speed. Okay, so that's up to speed now. Flow's just past 22, 22. 24. Okay, that's about 27 now. So on with the air now. Which quietens it right down. So yeah, not uh, if it's combined with a pump like this, the, the noise isn't isn't irritating at all. The truth is, though, I, 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 in order to run it on this pump effectively, we'd need a much bigger cavitation device. Um, this pump will will do about 60 cube an hour probably at six bar so be interested to know what size units um, if you've got a GCAM 60 that would actually work be a perfect match the issue with running this one at the moment is no one in their right mind is going to process 27 cube an hour for uh, 18 and a half kilowatts absorbed power so that's something to think about all right cheers guys see you later bye, -bye.